When you sit down in front of your keyboard and develop a new feature for a web application, everything is right there in front of you. The code is running on your laptop, you're running the tests and clicking around, and you have access to debuggers and profilers to help you understand what's happening under the hood. But what happens when you deploy to production? Suddenly, there are 10,000 users and three different features released in the last week. And when you're tracking down a timed out request, the fact that profilers add 100% overhead suddenly seems much more important. In this video, we'll look at AppNetta's tools for performance monitoring in production. Specifically, I'll show you how to track the performance of your application, drill down into problematic requests, and tie specific code paths to user experiences, all with less than 1% overhead. Let's start here, in TraceView. At this level, you can see all of the components of this application. This particular app is a three-tier Java application, consisting of a Spring front-end, which talks to a JBoss analytical back-end, which then accesses a Postgres database. It looks like we've had a spike in latency at the database layer, so let's drill into that. We still see that spike, but we don't have a good sense of why this spike happened. So let's switch views and look at this data in a different way. With the heat map, you can view every single request, sort of like a scatter plot. Interestingly, the latency spike doesn't really line up with anything we have in the heat map, but if we zoom out and look at every request, you can see it's just a single request that is pulling that average up. To figure out why this request was so slow, you can just highlight this one request and switch over to its source. As we click on this one request, we can see the trace behind it. The trace is simply the path of the request through the entire application. The top layer is our web server, and as you go all the way to the bottom, you can see individual data calls, either to the database or out to external services. In this case, the longest call is that database query. To get more information about that, just click on that span. Below the trace, you can see everything about the query. The bound parameters, the SQL itself, even the stack trace, showing the line of code it was called from. TraceView stitches everything together so you can narrow down exactly where you're looking, all in the context of the user-initiated request. Unlike the backend, you don't control the hardware or the software your users are running. To monitor it, AppNeta uses a combination of two approaches. First, our agents add a small bit of JavaScript to your pages, which reports performance information directly back to our servers. Second, we directly visit your pages and collect timing information based on scripted workflows. We'll then aggregate this information and show you how long it took to load the page, breaking it down into initial page load, asset download, and page render. And because we're measuring from users' machines, we can break it down by physical location around the world, or even browser and version. Of course, this is all tied back to traces, so if you see anything out of the ordinary here, you can filter to a specific browser or region, drill down into the traces, and see what on the back end is affecting user performance. To get started, all you need to do is install a quick agent, reboot your server, and you'll start seeing data. Sign up for AppNeta for free today.